So today uh, we will demonstrate how to do a crown lengthening procedure. You can see this is the number five premolar tooth RCT, RCT completed, and now the crown work will be done. And the crown length is very short. We will do the uh, gingival lengthening, crown lengthening. Okay. So these are the instrument we usually require to do as a, a kilner retractor. Kilner retractor. This is a plastic suction tip, very fine tip. BP blade 15. This is a adsen tooth forceps, fine tip adsen tooth forceps. This is a small curette, small curette, and this is a Michel trimmer or universal scaler. Okay, these these are the instruments we will use today. Now I will place the buccal incision. This is the papilla, including the papilla. This is attached gingiva. Okay, deep incision up to the bone, and now the cravicular incision. Now the cravicular one. Okay. This is the Michel trimmer I'm using. Okay. You can see I removed the buccal aspect of the gingiva. So the hidden crown has been exposed. Yes, hidden crown has been exposed. And now I will do the palatal part. Now I will do the palatal part. Boroha, 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 please. Okay. First, the cravicular and marginal incision, and then give the cravicular incision and hold it with a fine tooth forceps or adsen forceps. Okay. You can do it uh, using a diathermy also but with a pressure pack we can achieve hemostasis now the important aspect is i will check there is any bone is there or not there, there. there is any marginal alveolar bone is done there is a small bony part so i have to remove this bone up to the gingival margin otherwise the gingival will grow again and cover this area okay so that is called biological width and we have to remove this part of the bone or trim this part of the bone so now we are uh, removing the, this small part of the bone small part of the bone yes this small part of the bone is removed after the removal margin okay The small area, small portion of the interdental papilla is there. We need to remove that also. And then we can use a small scabbet or cuvet to remove this part of the soft tissue. Okay.
okay so this part is removed and you can see the nice crown lengthening has been done and this is enough for supporting a crown after two reduction